All right, not gonna lie, Ignition kind of fell off my radar there for a little while, but it is back, and we're gonna increase that play time for the first time in almost a year right now. And they gave us a pretty good reason to at least give it a try with this free 2022 expansion. Let's go fool around with it a little bit. All right, home sweet home in this technological marvel of a game. I don't believe we can actually even use these cars in career mode, so that's actually not too big of a deal to me. You know I wouldn't have finished it anyway. I'm damn sure not gonna be Chase Elliott, so let's pick a car. How many schemes do we get? A couple here? All right, I'm gonna go with that beautiful pit viper machine here. That thing looks like something threw up on it. I'm taking the money team to Talladega. You know how we gotta start this off. Oh, what the Christ? Is Bowman joining the army after this? Oh, all right, there we go. Or maybe kind of, I don't actually have control of the car yet. Forgot about that part. You're really not gonna give me control of the car until the start line and you're gonna leave me behind? Can we get up to speed a little bit better than this at least, please? I'm getting left behind here, and it's doing my shifts for me. That's not supposed to happen. Thank goodness for the draft. That's all I got to say. Right. And they're we checking up on me here, too. Are... Actually, they're just breaking for the corner still, aren't they? I forgot about that little gym. Almost a year later, we're still doing this. Still breaking at Talladega. If it was 1980, I could understand lifting a little bit. It's 2022. We have the same amount of horsepower in these cars as the average lawnmower now. We don't need to be breaking at Talladega. They're not even doing it for a stack up either. It'd be one thing if it's like, oh my God, I'm about to crash. They just break for the hell of it. Oh, there it is. Here it is again. The latest gameplay feature, the super draft that strikes at any moment. Like I'm striking on Briscoe right now and I'm getting struck on by Eric Amarola. Jesus, dude, please. Bro, just tried killing me in broad daylight. Yep, this is the hardest difficulty. I'm just driving by an entire line of cars. Or at least I was I was until Reddick stopped me. Thank you, Reddick, for blocking me, actually. Somebody's got to try to resemble some competition out here as I'm about to wreck my damn self. Oh, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Let's go four wide when we're about to lose the lead pack here. Let's let's just everybody fan out, why don't we? And then when I try to give somebody a push, my car just dies. Or at least it tried to. I'm still going. We saved it. This game can't take me out. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish this game had taken me out earlier. <laughs> this was that was a very painful end of that race. I should try just running the car up the gut of the field and seeing how far I can. All right, I couldn't even make it one car. Now he know. Thank you for attending this science experiment with your boy Eddie. Here comes another concussion worthy hit to test the damage model. It actually looks all right. Check it up there. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, damn it. Give it. And there we go. That's such a beautiful thing to just get caught out by them breaking for no reason. Everyone's stopping. Clear, Here they clear. come. What's everybody going to do? Everybody's panicking. They're, they're trying to figure out how do we get around them? How do we go? Oh, and the pack is stopping too. What fun is that? This stinks. I'm not liking being three wide anywhere around here, though, especially here. Blaney, would you not block me right now, please? I, I got my own problems to deal with. Damn it. I don't think I trust that bottom line. I don't, I don't, I don't trust any line. Everybody's checking up. I'm just gonna hang out up here. Excuse me, Brad. We're just gonna chill up top. Excuse me, buddy. I'm just gonna bump everybody. Since you won't take my pushes anyway, I try to push, they just switch lanes. So I'm gonna just lane switch dudes until I'm blue in the face and at the front, and all you bozos behind me just gotta push me. I don't even really need help. Especially when they do this. It's just, all right. Oh, man, hold on. That's a double yellow line violation. All right, Joey. You can have that one back when I'm coming back for you in about two seconds. Get ready. I think this is actually the scariest place to be because I don't know what I'm going to get checked up on. And I, 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 it could very easily result in my crash and nobody else's. Oh, Almondinger did something down there. I did not like the looks up. And back in line. All right, sit rep, five to go. We have a Stuart Haas racing style, three car breakaway a mile ahead of all of us ass clowns back here getting held up by El Presidente of ass clownery. The 51 car, Rick Ware's finest, Cody Ware. Oh, bro, get your ass. He just he just took a shot at me. Would you hear me? That's not creepy or anything. All right, any AI out there that might be listening, I'm sorry. Well, there you go. It took us a little while, but we do have a chance. Manifesting late in this race. Thanks to the draft and stupidity of all these cars you see here. We're breaking when there was absolutely no reason to like that. And I'm just powering by all the money outside by myself. This is champion difficulty. I'd like to reiterate that as I blow by Chase Elliott like he's standing still. Sorry, Chase. Listen, you won the real one. That'll have to do for now. I'm taking this one. 
So barring any heart attacks here late in the Geico restart zone, we are gonna get that dub. And uh, well, I'd like to say it was hard, but that's probably the easiest dub we've ever gotten in the history of this entire channel. And I think I mean that. Oh, and here we go. You know what? Talladega is often so good at producing underdog winners. Who's, who says the money team couldn't get it done one day? They didn't get it done this year, but hey, look at Kaz Grala. Way to go, Kaz. Way to do it. Wearing an MBM hat for some reason. Why is that? So this is Ed from the future. While I'm editing this video, I noticed this one single frame flashes before the loading screen to go back to the menu. What the? F All right, Suarez is up to bat. Next track is on deck. Let's let the Roval Rumble begin. Oh my, it's 2013, Blaney. What are you guys doing with their hair? Well, here we go. God help us all on this one, but me especially, because I am by no means a road racer and I'm starting this off with no assist. What in the hell is this pacing line supposed to be? What? Hut, hut. What, what is this jerky ass pace? Who taught you guys how to do this? If I was race control, I would be throwing hands with everybody in this field right now. That was the ugliest start I think I've ever seen. Speaking of a start, how about you go? Clear, clear, the clear. flag has flown, you bozos. You don't have to do 45 all the way to the corner. You can slow down when you get there. All right, all right. I guess the all AI right. just like driving like a grandma going to Kroger on their way into the first corner. Now we know. We got to get under the hood of these AI and inform them that they are indeed race car drivers and... Maybe somebody could have told me that. That would have been a great help. Holy Jesus. All right, let's see how this one goes. I changed a couple of the difficulty settings, so now I have some light assists on. But the AI are still on champion difficulty, even though they aren't exactly acting like it. There's still a bunch of pushovers. But I changed it up, so we'll actually be able to get through this, and we won't have to watch me self-spin for two hours. Drag race. Oh, that was a drag race till so he bailed out of it. They are really breaking early for some of these corners. Still, I thought this was bad at Talladega. You don't have to break at all. When they actually do need to break, they break about a mile before they're supposed to. At least from my eyeballs, I feel like you could definitely sail in a little bit deeper if you're on champion difficulty. But that's just me. Oh sh! Oh jeez! All right, that might have been a little too deep. My bad. My bad, Bell. I just tore up the front clip a little bit there, but we'll be fine. Oh, guys, come on. Keep your foot in it. You can go a lot further. Oh, Chase Elliott does not care about the curve. That's going to cost you, buddy. Come on. Oh, this, all right, now we got a race on our hands, kind of, somewhat. Not really at all. Where are you going, Willie B? Watch it out there. Going all the way to the grass. Leaving us a lane that we could use if Austin Dillon would move his ass. Let us get through there. There's a gas pedal in there somewhere, but I promise you. And then Willie B comes back and blocks me all the way to the wall. Willie, what is that? That's racing me like me. That's how I do things. That's one of my moves. Can't just steal those. I got to give you the love tap tax for that one. Matter of fact, that's worth two. Come here. And you let Austin Dillon buy both of us. Hey, you gave yourself a third one. I might even give you a fourth one here in the wall and the breaking zone. We're going to miss this damn corner fool around back here. Hold on. All right, Willie, I'm gonna have to call for a truce and I'm, I'm taking myself out now, actually, even as a measure of peace, and so is he, all right. I think Byron and I just became blood brothers. Danny, don't do anything too stupid back there. He put himself in the wall just out of straight fear of me being around him. I'm in fear of not making the top 10. We gotta get a move on. Oh boy, we gotta get to Kyle. We gotta get to Kyle. I, we gotta get this top 10, I'm sorry, Kyle. Oh, you're supposed to stop there. Good boys would stop there. I'm not gonna, yep, there we go. I got him by a nose, count it. This game doesn't even know what a black flag is. We're fine. We're good. We're living large Vince Welch style after that one. We score the cheapest top 10 of all time at Cole Custer one. What kind of topsy turvy land are we living in? All right, we swapped out the car and we're doing this one in honor of Vegas' own. Get well soon, Kurt. Oh my God, not Brad. Why do all the drivers look ready to serve in Ukraine? I don't have any military experience, but I have to imagine playing this game is pretty similar to a tour of duty. It's about the same. You should get a, you should get a medal or something. Maybe a t-shirt that says, I survived getting brake checked at Dega 8,000 times in one race. Let's see how it goes here. But it's, you gotta get used to the inputs and everything, and there it is. So that brake checking really is a terminal disease that is spread to all tracks, too. It's not just Dega or the Roval or watch out for the apron. That's my terminal illness. I've been wrecking on the apron since the dawn of time. So we've gained like four spots in three laps, and I'm getting blocked by the 34 for 34th some draft and then there's the championship level breaking striking again is that where you think champions break devs is that where they i don't i don't think that's where they do it 
But I digress. Oh, well, <laughs> Chastain slam me. At least I got something right in this game. Jesus, dude. All right, I take it back. This is the most realistic NASCAR game ever. Use some of that beard oil and slide out of my way just like that. Oh, I'm going to wreck him. Oh, I'm going to wreck myself. Oh, we're going to the grass, mowing the lawn. Look out, passing the grass. Passed in the grass, more accurate, but the hell with it. Count it. I don't feel safe anywhere around here. You're liable to get blocked in and brake checked anywhere. That 34 has got a bloodlust today. That is the second time I've seen that thing try to take a life. McDowell, how about you mix simmer down over there, dude? Please. This is gonna give me a big run. I can't take anywhere. Can't all the way. Kyle didn't do. Oh no, Willie! No, Kyle, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's a brother on brother violence. Eric, we can rule the galaxy as Michiganders. What the hell is this? This isn't even break checking. This is just stopping. Why? As people despawned at the front of that. What? <laughs> Like, you know, let me guess, the Cowboys get wrecked and then he just sat there, didn't he? That is classic. What a world we live in. Four laps to go and we have turned this race into a 1v1. The entire field has turned us into a Cars movie. What are we doing? The fact that we're even in this race at all, we just spent God knows how many laps chasing Truex down. And now I got to figure out how to deal with it without getting my face break checked off like he just tried to do. I know these freaks too well. You are not gonna catch me lacking, Truex. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on! Oh, I am not catching back up this time. That's gonna do it. That is gonna do it. What a fantastic feeling that is. I love this. I'm gonna get a couple pity spots back from these dorks that don't know how to drive and consider me one of them. You know what? You know what? Yeah, put me in the wall. I want Ty Gibbs to come take this car from me. Come do it. Maybe you can suffer through this. I think I have seen enough. Yeah, yeah, let's see. I, I wonder if they'll fix my car with two to go when I'm a lap down. Hey guys, who fixed my car? Oh, what the hell? Uh, what? We just almost took that guy's legs off. First of all, like Reddick and that lady at Dega. Second of all, what in the actual ever loving fuck is going on here? It, you know what? I've had enough. I'm done. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed that, there's something wrong with you. But if you did, hit that like button and subscribe because we'll be back here playing something else very soon. I will see you in the next one. Peace.